So if you can solve this problem without using a calculator, well, that's a pretty good indication that you know a thing or two about square roots. Let's take a look at the problem. So we have the square root of 20 plus the square root of 45. Okay, now we do have a multiple choice question here. And let's take a look at our answers. So A is 65. B is the square root of 65. C is 5 times the square root of 5. And D is 2 times the square root of 7. Okay, so once again, no calculators. But uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so once again, here is the problem, and here is the answers. One of these is, of course, the correct answer. Which one is that? Well, the right answer is C, 5 times the square root of 5. All right, now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're kind of sad that you didn't uh, get this correct, no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and fully explain this right now. So we're trying to figure out how to add square roots. So if you don't know how to add square roots, it's easy to see how someone could kind of select one of these answers. Matter of fact, uh, as a tip for those of you that still have to take math test, if you don't know the answer on a math multiple choice question, always take a guess. So maybe a lot of you out there said, you know what, B looks like it's a pretty good guess because here we have the square root of 20. And here we have the square root of 45. Maybe we add these numbers, 20 and 45. So maybe the answer is the square root of 65. Well, that is very logical. Unfortunately, it is wrong. So the only way really to know how to uh, pick the correct answer here is to know the math. So that means we need to know a thing or two about how to add square roots. So let's go ahead and review that right now. So basically, when you are adding square roots, you can add square roots if the square root parts are exactly the same. So in this first example, we have 2 times the square root of 7 plus 4 times the square root of 7. We can actually add these two square roots because we're adding the exact same square roots. And the way we do this is simply add the numbers in front of the square roots. So here we have 2 square root of 7 plus 4 square root, square root of 7. So how many uh, square roots of 7, uh, how many total square roots of 7 uh, do we have? Well, we have 6 or 2 plus 4. So the answer here is 6 times the square root of 7. Okay, now following this logic, can you add these right here? 2 times the square root of 7 plus 4 times the square root of 11. Well, here we cannot add these square roots because we're, uh, we have different square roots here. So this is the square root of 7, and this is the square root of 11. So you can only add square roots, if the, again, if the square root parts are exactly the same. So this right here is basically fully simplified. So some of you might be thinking to yourself, well, let's take a look at this problem. We have the square root of 20 plus the square root of 45. Why can we add these square roots? Well, the secret is we need to fully simplify these square roots in another form or their most uh, simplest form to identify if we have any kind of common square roots. Okay, so this means we need to understand something about simplifying square roots. All right, so the square root of 20 is equal to the square root of 4 times 5, right? So 4 times 5 is, of course, 20. And the square root of 45 is equal to the square root of 9 times 5. Now, if you notice here, I'm thinking about these numbers, 20 and 45, in terms of something called perfect squared factors. So if you notice here, 4 and 9, we can take the exact perfect square roots of these numbers. So in other words, the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. 
So numbers like 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, etc. These things right here are called perfect square factors. And what we want to do is try to break up the numbers underneath a square root in terms of a perfect square factor. Now, sometimes you can do that, uh, but uh, sometimes you can't. So, for example, if you had the square root of 15, well, you could break this up into two factors, i.e. the square root of 5 times 3, but 5 and 3 are not perfect square factors, so this is really not going to help us out. But in this case, uh, because we have two perfect square factors, well, we can definitely simplify these square roots. Okay, so let's see how that is done. So the square root of 20, again, is the same thing as the square root of 4 times 5. And the square root of 45 is the same thing as 9 times 5. Okay, now there is a uh, rule uh, when it comes to square roots and factors. Here we have the square root of 4 times 5. What we can do here is break up this big square root into individual square roots. So in other words, the square root of 4 times 5 we can write it this way, the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. So the square root of 9 times 5, we can write it this way, the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. And now you can see here we have a fantastic opportunity to simplify these radicals or these square roots because we know now what the square root of 4 is and we know what the square root of 9 is. And then we're going to have an opportunity to add these square roots. So uh, before we take that step, we're going to go ahead and take this step, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, now, I wouldn't stop this lovely video if I didn't need your support to continue to grow my channel. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's finish up this problem because this is going to be very easy. So the square root of 4 is, of course, 2. So this right here is the same thing as 2 times the square root of 5. And the square root of 9 is, of course, 3. So this right here is 3 times the square root of 5. And now let's ask ourselves, can we add these square roots? Well, of course we can because we have the same square root. So all we have to do is add these numbers, 2 and 3. So the final answer is 5 times the square root of 5. Okay, so hopefully this wasn't too difficult, and don't feel bad about not uh, getting this right. The whole idea behind my videos is to learn something. But when it comes to square roots, and this symbol in mathematics is called a radical, this is extremely important. And if you need help with uh, uh, radicals or square roots and things of this sort, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel. Also, make sure to check out my full main math courses. Uh, I really kind of teach this stuff in my algebra courses. You can find links to all of this in the description below. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.